عوضا عن الرماد سيدنا تعال يا رب واسمع من الاكل اكلا ومن الجاف حلاوه فهو نحن نؤمن ان هذا زمن استرداد وزمن يا رب انذار للبشريه ولكل انسان بعيد عنك ولم يسلمك ولم ياخذك النصيب الصالح والمخلص الشخصي للحياه فهو انذار فانك انت يا رب الذي قلت وكلمتك يا رب تعلن وتقول لا تستهين بغنى لطف الله وامهاله وطول اناته غير عالما ان لطف الله انما يقتادك الى التوبه لكن من اجل قساوتك وقلبك غير التائب تزخر لنفسك غضبا فوق غضب يوم استعلان دينونة الله العادلة الذي سيجازي كل واحد حسب أعماله يا رب إحنا بننتظر يا ننتظر يا رب أزمنة افتقاد ننتظر يا رب نهضة تعم المسكونة بالكامل ننتظر يا رب نفوس ترجع إليك ربوات ربوات ننتظر إنك تعلن مجدك يا رب فليع فليع فليعني كل إنسان عجزه وفشله يا رب حتى العلم يا رب فكم يا رب من الأسلحة المدمرة للعالم يا رب كم من الأسلحة المضادة للطائرات وللسواريخ كم يا رب من المعدات التي تستطيع أنها تدمر الأرض في, في لحظات يا رب لكن كل هذه التجهيزات وقفت فاشلة وعاجزة أن تصنع شيء أمام فيروس يا رب غير مرئي وغير يا رب وليس له حجمه حجم صغير جدا بنشكرك لأن عظمتك أعلنت وعظمتك و... 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 وعلوك يا رب أعلن لكل البشرية مجد ذاتك في هذه الأيام وعود وارحمنا وعود يا رب وتراءف علينا في وقت الغضب أذكر الرحمة في اسم الرب يسوع المسيح بنشكرك لأنك أنت إله عظيم إله كل رحمة أب الرأفة وإله كل تعزية وإله الفرصة الثانية والثالثة بنشكرك لأنك أعطيتنا فرصة أخرى للتوبة وللرجوع والاسترداد وتجديد العهد في اسم الرب يسوع المسيح بنشكرك وبنعليك وبنعلن أنك أنت يا رب اسمك فوق كل اسم وأن كل رتبة ستكسلك ممن في السماء وممن على الأرض وممن تحت الأرض أيضا في اسم الرب يسوع المسيح لكل مجد وإكرام من الآن وإلى الأبد آمين Lord, we believe that you are the Lord of Lords. You are our Savior. You are our healer. You are our provider. You are our shield. You are the rock in which we are standing, Lord. And we know that everything in this world and the, the whole universe are under control of yours. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Your name is above all name. You are the almighty God. And you are the only answer to all the questions that we have in our minds, in our hearts. You are the only answer for everything, Lord, that we don't know. You are the answer for the future. We are the answer for right now. You are the only, the only one that you are the, the only one, Lord, that can come and makes us feel that we are not alone because you said, Lord, that you were going to be with us until the end of the, the season, the, the world, the ion. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, that your peace come upon every family, that is watching right now, every family that we are, that are gathering right now, praying and crying out for you, Lord, so you can come with your joy, your peace, and the understanding that you are covering us from everything, Lord, because your blood is still fresh and powerful to be in our doors, in our house, in the doors of our persona, Lord, and that you can protect us from everything. Just bring us the understanding, the revelation, and the knowledge 
of your plan, Lord, and that we can have all the all this peace that we need that surpasses all understanding in our minds so we can put all our anxieties, all our fears in your cross, Lord, because you are so the solution and you are behind everything, Lord. Nothing happens in this universe if you don't want. We love you, Jesus. We love you. Attract us. Attract me so my family can be attracted to you. We are your children, Lord, and we trust you in Jesus' name. Señor, nosotros te damos gracias porque tu palabra es verdad, porque tus promesas son siempre amén y amén, porque tú no has dejado de bendecir a, a tus hijos, Señor, nunca y nunca los has abandonado porque tú no eres como los asalariados, Señor, que corren y huyen cuando, ven, cuando viene el enemigo a tratar de destruir a las ovejas. Tú eres el Dios que cuida a sus hijos, eres el Dios que provee, el Dios que cuida, el Dios que levanta, el Dios que, que nos da fuerza, tú eres el Dios que nos da la sabiduría y el entendimiento para vivir en estas situaciones, Señor. Yo quiero rogarte con todo mi corazón que en todas las casas, Señor, que fueron abiertas para escuchar esto, Tú traigas tu unción, traigas tu poder, traigas tu presencia, Señor, traigas respuestas. Y si no hay respuesta, Señor, a las preguntas y dudas que tenemos, que nosotros confiemos de que tú tienes todo en tu mano, Señor, y bajo control. Nosotros no vamos a vivir por miedo, Señor, sino que vamos a vivir por la fe. Porque tu palabra dice que el justo por la fe vivirá. Y nosotros no vamos a dejar, Señor, que ningún, ningún, ninguna amenaza tangible o no tangible, real o no real, venga a tratar de destruirnos, Señor, porque nada está pasando alrededor de nosotros y mucha gente está con temor el día de hoy, pero nosotros venimos a reprender todo espíritu de temor en las casas, sean libres ustedes que nos están escuchando, sean libres, que su casa sea libre, su mente y su corazón sean libres, que las cadenas que los han atado de temor y de duda y de ansiedad y de angustia sean rotas hoy para dejarlos libres en el nombre de Jesús, para que la paz y el gozo de Dios empiece a caer en sus corazones y en sus ojos y en sus mentes y en sus oídos para que lo que ustedes escuchen, lo escuchen sin temor y que no les venga a destruir la vida ni las entrañas porque nosotros somos poderosos en Cristo Jesús, porque Él no nos dejó un espíritu de temor ni de cobardía, sino que de amor, de poder y de dominio propio. En el nombre de Jesús, el Señor, nosotros creemos que nosotros podemos hacer retroceder las tinieblas, porque nosotros somos la luz del mundo, así como tú eres la luz y nos dejaste a nosotros en representación. Yo te ruego, Señor, que todos los cristianos y todos tus hijos nos levantemos como un ejército de luz para las naciones, para que nosotros podamos ser la sal de la tierra y la luz del mundo porque nosotros no vinimos a esta tierra, Señor, para quedarnos sentados y tú no nos rescataste, Señor, para quedarnos callados. Porque las luces no se ponen abajo de una mesa ni debajo de una cama, se ponen sobre la mesa y se sacan, Señor, para llevar luz en medio de la oscuridad. Y eso queremos ser nosotros, Señor. Y todos los que nos escuchan, que son cristianos, que se levanten con gozo, con paz, con sin temor para que podamos llevar la palabra hasta los confines de la tierra y que esta sea una oportunidad Señor y no solo una amenaza de lo que está pasando y que todo, todo el terror que el diablo quiere meternos no tiene poder, lo confesamos y nosotros nos resistimos al diablo Señor porque ningún poder tiene sobre nosotros porque quién puede estar contra nosotros si tú estás contra nosotros, son más los que están con nosotros que los que están contra nosotros, es más fuerte el que está dentro de mí que el que está fuera de mí, porque tu nombre tiene poder, tu palabra tiene poder, el aceite de tu unción y tu santo espíritu gobiernan y todavía se mueven en medio de la iglesia que está ahora en sus casas y nosotros tenemos que aprender Señor que tú y solamente tú eres el que tiene la solución y la salida, los tiempos y todas las decisiones Señor, porque tú eres nuestro Dios, nuestro Señor y tú eres Señor al que nosotros servimos, obedecemos, amamos, tememos y confiamos. 
porque en nadie podemos confiar. Te suplicamos, Señor, por, las, por los, los líderes de las naciones para que tomen sabiduría de parte tuya y que controles a los que están fuera de control, pongas al orden el que está fuera de orden y que al que está en orden, Señor, lo respaldes y le des poder y autoridad para que pueda guiarnos, Señor, en medio de todo esto, sabiendo, Señor, que en lo espiritual, tu santo espíritu es el que a mí me gobierna. A mí no me gobierna el miedo, no me gobierna nadie, ni las noticias, a mí me gobierna tus buenas nuevas que están en la palabra de Dios. Y ayúdanos a aprovechar estos tiempos, Señor, para poder acercarnos a ti, leer tu palabra, enseñarle a nuestros hijos, volcar el corazón de nosotros hacia los niños, hacia los hijos, y para que ellos saquen la rebeldía de su corazón y se vuelvan a ti, habiéndose vuelto, Señor, de su corazón hacia nosotros. Así dice tu palabra en Malaquías, la restauración familiar viene y que tú, Señor, no eres hijo de hombre para, para no eres hombre para mentir, ni hijo de hombre para arrepentirse y que tú, Señor, vas a volver y nos vas a levantar de esta tierra. No sabemos cuándo, pero esa es una esperanza que tenemos, que tenemos y para mientras, Señor, en estos tiempos nosotros vamos a confiar, porque tú, Señor, eres nuestra confianza, tú eres nuestro Dios, tú eres nuestro nuestra guía, eres el pastor de las ovejas, eres el mayoral de los pastores, eres el líder de los líderes, eres, eres el apóstol de los apóstoles, eres el profeta de profetas, tú eres el servidor por excelencia y no hay nada más grande que tú Señor, que cada uno de nosotros recordemos que tu nombre Señor tiene poder y está sobre nuestros corazones, en nuestros corazones y que tú sigues sentado a la diestra del Padre, que estás en tu trono y que nadie te puede levantar de ahí Señor y que ahí estás todavía y que tú sigues mandando y que tú no eres un Dios débil, no eres un Dios sordo ni mudo, ni un Dios que no puede extender su mano, sigue siendo el mismo de ayer, de hoy y de siempre, eres el Dios de Abraham, Isaac y Jacob y eres el Dios de que me ha bendecido antes, ahora y que me va a bendecir después. En ti confiamos, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, en ti confiamos. Grande eres, grande eres, grande eres. Gracias por la oportunidad, Señor, de reunirnos aquí en cinco lenguas, cinco, cinco idiomas para poder llevar la palabra de Dios a los, a los aires y para que por medio de esta transmisión llegue hasta los confines de la tierra. Gracias, Señor, porque nunca antes pudimos alcanzar más gente que ahora, porque tú, Señor, nos pusiste a vivir en esta era, en este tiempo, con una razón y con un propósito. Y estamos agradecidos, Señor, estamos agradecidos en el nombre maravilloso de Jesús, en el nombre de Jesús. Gracias, Señor, gracias te damos. Bendito tu nombre, bendito tu nombre. Aleluya. Aleluya, 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 aleluya. If you're joining us tonight, I want to welcome you. And in the presence of God tonight, hallelujah, we thank you, we thank you. I want to start this prayer tonight with a scripture from Philippians 4, verse 6 verse and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds tonight. Father, we humbly come before you right now in the name of Jesus. We come humbly before you as we stand together. We come here together with this international prayer, Lord God. Lord God, we come together to lift up your name tonight, Lord God. We know that you have the answer to this unprecedented time, Lord God, and we love you and we praise you. We honor you with our praise and our prayer tonight, Lord God. Thank you for uh, this opportunity, Lord God, for, for us to come together, the Spanish, the Samoans, the Chinese, our English service, the Arabics, Lord God. We put our hearts together tonight so we can stand for our country tonight. We pray for our president. We pray for our leaders in this country, Lord God. We love this nation. We love the whole world, Lord God. We lift up every part of this world that, that's infected by this coronavirus. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Lord, because we know the hope is in you. Only We can only find hope in your name, Jesus, and we honor you tonight. Lord, we pray. Father God, we lift up uh, some names that was uh, given to me tonight. We lift up Orepa Fuimono. Lord, I don't know what's going on, but I know you know everything. So I pray for 
you, sister, if you're watching this tonight, I pray for you and your family that God will touch your heart, heal you completely in the name of Jesus. I lift up the Maino family tonight. Um, they lost uh, uh, their loved one because of this disease. And we, Lord, we know what they're going through, and we humbly ask you to comfort their hearts with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Also lift up 11 inmates that I got news that they were infected by this, by this virus, Lord God. I lift up this whole world. I lift up this nation in the name of Jesus, Lord. Heal America, Lord. I pray that our leaders will will come to their knees, will come to their senses that, senses that only God, only we can only find peace and hope in God, our Lord and Savior. Lord God, we thank you tonight. Oh, it's a humbly, we are humble to stand before you tonight together as a people, as a body of Christ. I thank you, Lord God, for Brother Pastor Ron for uh, inviting us here to pray together and stand together for this nation and for this whole world that are affected by this virus, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We honor you. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. Lord, we ask that you uh, set those are, uh, are, are being f f uh, full of fear, Lord God. We, pr we pray, Lord, that you take away fear from them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. For those who are feeling hopeless, Lord God, I pray that you give them hope, Lord God, because only you can give us true peace, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. We honor you. We praise you, Lord. Mato Jo Mai Mato Tutu Laia Veo Mato Leo, a fine Maleo Lumoro no for a little love to know in the Fiafi, or just a talo moe sa moa fa yo e my mom and near Fiafi, or just talo if a malolo ina oe, a inga wafa ina in the fama it a ma, or just a talo for benai lo famalo long as wafa yesu keriso, ye payane paifo, lo wanganga pa ia le tua fama fana fana ye wa. America Malasui Prestene or Lungar Konkelesi, or Lungar Se Nate, I message your matu or to Nu Isa Mong, a Lua Le Tua Angale Lei, Yasa Moa, why love us, Esi Wafa Inda, Nifa Ma Itama, or out of Talu, if I penal ne Angale Lei, Safa Inda, Foise Mafui, and the most Talas, or Yesa Mafui, in the Minute Ute Atu Le Tua, Teta Talo, if I penal ne, a Mayal File Mu Itangata, a Mayal File Mu Ye, or Pole Lel Eel Ne Fiafi. Mal nefa ma ile tu a mai a te la to lau 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 file mu moni le tu alo matu te ma Lord I pray that you bring true peace to all of those who are affected by by this uh, virus Lord God and I pray Lord that you comfort everyone and, and and bless everyone tonight Lord God we thank you we stand before you and pray this prayer in Jesus mighty name Hallelujah 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 Thank you Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we worship your name. We worship your name. Lord, we worship. Lord, we worship you. We know we can do nothing, but the only thing we can do is worship you. We praise your name. We call your name. We trust in you. We love you. And we believe, Lord, you have mercy. You have grace. You have mercy and grace over the people who call your name, who trust you who follow you. Lord, tonight you gather us, not simply for a prayer. Tonight you gather us to show your glory to us. We know you gather us here, not, to, not simply pray before you, but you call, gather us here. You want to show your glory to us. We will see what is going on. We will see what is going to happen because we are praying here, because we are calling him here, because we trust in you. Lord, we do believe Many people, they will lose their jobs. We do know many people, they will lose their beloved. But we do know never we lose you. You, you. you have promised to us 
You say you never forsake us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You never leave us. So today, Lord, we just pray before you. We say the people who die, who die in Christ. The people who die, you will come for the people who still live. Lord, now we call him. We call him. You give mercy. You give grace to the senior people. You give mercy. You give grace to the the young kids. Lord, we especially we pray for those family who has people already affected. Lord, we we know it's dangerous, but we 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 dare, we we dare to visit them. We dare to pray for them. We dare to bless them. Lord, we do believe, even in the difficult season, even in the hard time, we do believe the prayer is powerful. So we 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 just pray, Lord, just open door, just give us connections. So we, we can visit families, we can pray for them, and we can give them something, what we have, to show your love there. Because tonight we are here, we receive love. The, 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 the entire, the, the complete love from heaven to earth, from, from Lord to his people. Lord, now we pray for, for Corona, especially we pray for Corona. Last night, Lord, you touched the heart, you stirred the heart. So many men, women, so they, they gather together at the, the, the Corona Regional Medical Center. We see so many people call your name. We see so many people yell, shout before you. Lord, we know we, we, we shout before you not because we fear, but because we, we trust the mighty power, the divine protection, and the, 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 the spiritual healing. Lord, we, we, we do believe not simply our fear, our physical get, get, get uh, affected. So we pray, not physical healing, we pray spiritual healing. Lord, we know the virus cannot kill too many people, but the, the, the fear really kills the people. So when the people shout before you, we shout because yeah. the fear gone. Yeah. The fear gone. Yeah. The fear gone. Yeah. So we shout to the Lord. We fear not. The fear gone, Lord. So tonight, especially, we pray again. We pray for those families, those people who dare not come out. We pray for the family they dare not to receive the visiting. We pray for the people who dare not to, to do some uh, to some work. They fear, but we fear not. They fear because they should know God. And now we pray, God, you light shine upon them. You light shine upon their eyes. You light shine upon their heart. Your light shine upon their house. Lord, especially tonight, we pray those who, those people who have fear when they could not sleep, when they could not sleep well, Lord, you visit them. You speak to them just like you speak to Paul. Never be afraid. Never shut down the mouth. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out the life. Speak out the faith. Speak out the hope. Lord, we, because we know you because you are living God. You are God of resurrection. Even you die, you, you rise up again. Lord, today we, we pray the power of resurrection, the power of resurrection back to America. Lord, many church die, economic die, even government die. But we pray the resurrection of the, the power of resurrection. The Lord of resurrection gave us the power of resurrection. So we pray the church will revival. The economic will regrow and the government will be functional. Lord, we do believe, we do believe you will give the people new heart. When the heart of fear need you, you will renew the heart. They will build the heart of encouragement, the, car, the heart of courage. Lord, tonight we pray, we pray, we have, the, we have a hero. Lord, from the Old Testament, from New Testament, we see Moses, we see Joshua, we see David. We see so many men and women, Lord, they, 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 they are facing challenges. They have a difficult, even much more difficult than us, but they fear not. So, Lord, tonight we just pray, we fear not. We just uh, proclaim again we, the, the, the power of the resurrection, overcome all fear, overcome all fear, Lord. Lord, we, we just call your name now. Lord, now we just pray for, for the church. Lord, we do believe it's time for people to go back to church. I do believe it's time for people to go back to God. I do believe it's time for people to go back to the Bible. I do believe it's time for people to pray. Lord, you touch the heart. You stir the heart. Let people back to you. 
now down before you, crying before you. And I do believe the healing is coming. I see the healing is coming. I see the revival coming. And I see, Lord, you are coming. Lord, it's time. The time is short, but we still have some time. So, Lord, stir the heart. Let, not, let us not only pray here, also we, we use whatever you give us to connect the people, to, to visit the people, to touch the people, to lead the people. Lord, it's time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 天父，我们在这里敬拜你，我们在这里赞美你，我们在这里感谢你。你是万王之王，你是万主之主，万世都要跪拜，万口都要称颂。唯有你是王，唯有你是主，天地都要废去，你的话一笔话都不会废去。我们在这敬拜你，我们在这赞美你，我们在向你祷告。我们相信主掌权，我们相信主掌权，直到永永远远。我们相信，在洪水泛滥的时候，耶和华坐着为王。今天，耶和华继续做我们的王，继续做我们的主，直到永永远远。主，我们敬拜你，主，我们赞美你，主，我们，我们，我们，我们向你来献上感恩。主，当大卫在在逼迫的时候，在艰难的时候，他只是向神祷告，向神呼求，甚至他拿起他的琴来向神来赞美。主，今天我们要在这里赞美你。主，我们赞美你的时候，我们祷告的时候，主，我们敬拜的时候，惧怕就除去了，胆怯就除去了。忧虑就除去了，担心就除去了。相反，主的恩典更多的降下来，主的能力更多的降下来，主的慈爱更多的降下来。主自己亲自在我们当中。主，你说有两三个人奉你名聚集，你就在他们当中。主，今天这几个牧师聚在一起的时候，我们只有一个目的：我们要遇见神，我们要看见神的面，我们要遇见神，我们要看见神的面，我们要被神的荣耀再一次充满，我们要被神的灵再一次充满，我们要被神的大能再一次充满。主，你是又真又活的神，你是天地的主宰，你是万王之王，你是万主之主，浇灌的圣灵，浇灌的圣灵，浇灌的圣灵。主啊，一百年前在洛杉矶，在阿苏萨有一个大复兴；主啊，一百年后在洛杉矶，在库兰纳要有一个大复兴。耶稣，当人们害怕的时候，我们不害怕；当人们恐慌的时候，我们不恐慌；当人们缺乏的时候，我们不缺乏。当人们是不知道该怎么办的时候，我们知道该怎么办，因为神是我们的主。你是道路，你是真理，你是生命，你会带着我们走前路。主，我们呼求你，主，我们呼求你，主，我们呼求你，主，我们也祷告，祈求你的灵，现在就激动我们的心，让更多迷茫的人不再迷茫，而是转向神；让更多痛苦的人不再痛苦，而是呼求主；让更多绝望的人不再绝望，而是仰望主。主，你永远是我们的盼望。你说麻雀不种也不收，天父都养护他们。主，你说麻雀不种也不收，天父都养护他们。主，那些经济上有缺乏的人，我现在奉献祝福他们。主耶稣，当他们跪下来跟神祷告的时候，当他们跪来呼求主的时候，就会有神迹的事情发生，就会有神的供应临到。主耶稣，主耶稣，你是有怜悯的神，你不愿意看到我们灭亡，你乃愿意我们悔改。所以，当人有缺乏的时候，我们就回转。主耶稣，今天我们也宣告你是医治的神。就就算有人感染了，就算人已经住院了，主耶稣，就算他已经接受了治疗没有效果，但是只要他在内心深处，今天晚上受圣灵的感动说，说主啊救我，主啊救我，主啊救我的时候，主就有医治的能力进入他们的身体。主耶稣，你的你的宝血依然有功效，你的大能依然在运行，你是医治的神，你是耶和华拉法，主谢谢你，主赞美你，主谢谢你，主赞美你，主现在我们要特别的祷告。主，我们要现在特别的祷告。我们不单单求你把惧怕拿走，我们不单单医治领导，我们也祷告复兴来到。我们也祷告复兴来到。主，我相信主耶稣经济已经很糟糕，这是我们用肉眼看的，但是我们用灵眼看，神的国继续是丰富的，继续是丰盛的，继续是充满荣耀的。主，我们相信神的国降临，所以我们不看地上的经济，我们只仰望天上的主。主，我们不看地上的经济，我们单单仰望天的恩典。主，我们不看地上的经济，我们单单相信神的天窗再次打开。祝福倾倒下来<咳>，主耶稣，历史上有很多次饥荒的时候，饥荒的时候有很多人饿死，饥荒的时候很多缺乏，可是饥荒一定会过去，神的恩典会继续临到，主啊。就算我们现在在饥荒中，我们就仰望主，我们就呼求主，所以说我们就呼求你，所以说我们相信你会 restart， 所以说你会让经济可以复苏，所以说复苏这个词是从上帝来的，复苏是从复活来的，有复活的生命就有复苏的经济，主我们敬拜你，主我们赞美你，主我们敬拜你，主我们赞美你，主我们敬拜你，主我们赞美你，哈利路亚，主谢谢你，所以说现在我特别的为中国来祷告。就现在，中国是一个国殇日，主要很多中国人他们失去了亲人，很多中国人他们失去了失去了家人，很多中国人甚至整个家庭都已经被在这次瘟疫中失去了他们生命。就是说，我们不知道他们的灵魂去哪里，但是我们知道我们的灵魂去哪里。主，我们不知道他们的灵魂去哪里，但是我们知道还活着的就要信主，否则我们也不知道我们灵魂去哪里。所以我们现在特别祷告
，一个悔改的心，一个赦罪的恩，一个巨大的悔改的心，一个巨大的赦罪，临到中国，临到中国，临到中国，临到中国的教会，临到中国的兄弟姐妹，临到中国的百姓。主耶稣，盼望这个国家在经历这样的一个阵痛之后，我们不单单反思，我们还翻转；我们不单单反思，我们还悔改。圣圣经说，我们若我们悔改，我们若认自己的罪，神是信实的，是公义的。必要赦免我们罪，洗净我们一切的不义。主，我现在就祷告，主耶稣赐下悔改的心，赐下赦罪的人。主，我们今天祷告不是一个人悔改，我们祷告不是一家人祷告，我不是一家人悔改，我们祷告不是一个城市悔改，我们祷告是整个国家、整个民族的悔改。主，我们不既虽然我们有强大的经济，虽然我们又有很强大的制造能力，但是今天我们缺一个强大的信仰，我们缺一个强大的属灵的领袖。耶稣，愿你继续做我们的王，你做我们的王，让中国继续成为神州大地，让中国继续成为神的百姓、神的儿女。主，我们再一次奉耶稣宣告，把中国献给上帝。中国属于上帝，我奉耶稣宣告，中国属于上帝，中国属于上帝，中国属于上帝。上帝在中国掌权，上帝在中国掌权，上帝在中国做王。上帝是中国人上帝，上帝也是全球的上帝，上帝是中国人的上帝，上帝也是各个民族、各个国家的上帝。主，我们盼望在这个时候，上帝你自己就开始做奇妙的工作。主，你现在我也奉耶稣名祝福美国。主，我们把美国交在上帝手里。主耶稣，我们相信美国也离神很远，中国也离神远，但是美国、中国都是上帝的孩子，不管是大儿子还是小儿子，不管是留在家里面但是不信主、不信主的，还是在外面漂泊流浪的，都要回家，都要回到神的面前，都要悔改，得着神的心意。主，我们敬拜你，主，我们赞美你，主，我们敬拜你，我们赞美你，主，我们相信。哎，三个月会过去，半年会过去，一年会过去。但是我们看到的不仅仅是荒凉会过去，我们看到的不单单不仅仅是是这些这些这些悲凉的事过去，我们会更会看到荣耀会来，我们更会看到我们更多恩典会来，我们看到复兴来到。主，我们谢谢你，我们赞美你，我们敬拜主，我们敬拜主，我们敬拜主，赞美你主，赞美你主，奉耶稣基督的名，奉耶稣基督的名，奉耶稣基督的名。In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to start with a testimony tonight before I pray. Today, Pastor Ron sent $25 for food to a brother in Africa, who turned out that he had lost his own phone and was borrowing someone else's phone, and he still got the money. Now that's God, and I want to remind you that He is still on the throne. He has plans to prosper us and not to harm us—a future and a hope. And I would implore all His people to continue praying and getting on their knees, not in fear, but to grow and and make it right with your trespasses against each other, so that we can be united. So that when this is over, and it will be over, in the name of Jesus. This is no news to God. This is only new news to us, and He has the plans for us. And so I pray that you would get united, get your hearts united, get oneness, Lord, so that the revival could hit your heart and hit your spirit, because that's where it starts. So that we can be ready when when it comes. And so I thank you, God. I thank you that you're still on the throne. I thank you, God, that you have plans to prosper us and not to harm us, and a future and a hope, Lord. And that you are still on the throne, and that we are not going to listen to the hype and the and the fear talk and the innuendos and the scenarios that the enemy has made up for us to listen to, Lord. We renounce it. We read. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We put it on our under our feet now in the name of Jesus, and we say no more, no more. We're not going to talk fear talk, but we're going to talk faith talk, and we're going to talk like we know that you know what you're doing, Lord, and that you've got us covered. And we're going to know, Lord, that you do have us covered because your word says you do, and we believe your word, Lord. So I thank you, God, for what you're doing, and I pray for those families, Lord, that they can they can come together. And they could love one another and make things right, and they would spend this time in your Word, Lord, and getting to know what your plan is for them. I thank you, God, that you are a God of your Word, and that you are our source for everything. And we thank you, God, for the plenty that's going on here. And I pray, Lord, for the people who don't have food. I pray for those people, Lord. 
who are feeling home and lonely, Lord, I pray that you would just come into their home and wrap your arms around them and love on them and let them know that they're not alone. Lord, I pray, God, that you would continue to keep us safe. We know that nothing goes without you knowing about it, that everything passes through you. Lord, I just thank you that you are the one in control and that we don't have to be. So we renounce control. We renounce fear in the name of Jesus. And I would just ask, Lord, that you would continue to lift up those, those families, Lord, that there would be togetherness and oneness and a love like never before. And that we won't stop and waste this time, Lord, fretting, worrying, anxiety, Lord, and believing those things that, that are coming through the news, Lord, that, that aren't true. They're just made-up stuff that the enemy wants us to believe to get us defocused and, and to be distracted. Lord, we don't have to go that way. And I just pray right now that your people would stand up and be the light of this world that is so much darkness going on right now. Lord, your word says that they would know us by our love, that we wouldn't judge them, but we would pray for them. Lord, because they're acting out according to what they know. They don't know any better, but we do. And I pray that your people would stand up and be the lights, Lord, and be that love and take everything into prayer and supplication and, and not into judgment or backbiting or gossip, Lord, that they would just love on you, you and love on the people and love on the people around them. Help us to shine, Lord. Help us to shine. This is our chance, church, to shine like never before in this darkness and to be the light and represent God. And to stand up in faith and believe in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Father. We glorify you, God. We exalt you, Father. And Lord, as Delanda prayed for fear, against fear, Father God, Lord, that fear would be gone in the name of Jesus and it'd be replaced with power, love, and a sound mind. That, Lord, that's the spirit you've given your people. You've not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And, Lord, your, your spirit casts out all fear. Your perfect love casts out all fear. Lord, because we know that fear leads to torment. And, Lord, I know there's people out there today that have been being tormented because they've been following the fear. And I command that fear to go right now, that the fear would be replaced with the love of God, with the soundness of mind, and with the power of God, and that, Lord, there be a supernatural stop to the torment right now that people have been experiencing. Father, that it end right now, that your people would come into rest. Lord, in Isaiah 11, you said that you've given us a spirit of rest, and I pray for that spirit of rest to come upon the people right now. Now, Father God, that people, your people, Father, would find rest for their soul tonight, God. That they'd be at peace and they'd rest so well tonight. That this night's sleep would be great. We pray for our, our seniors, Father God. We're not only in our church, but in our community, Father God, around the world, the seniors. Father, that our Lord, are they're being in home, Father God. Lord, I know some of them are lonely. They've been battling, Father God. Lord, they want to get out of the house. They want company. They want, Lord... Um, relationship and community, Father. And we pray for our seniors, Lord. We pray a covering over them right now that the God of peace would come and visit them. That, Lord, that you send your ministering spirits to them today to bring that covering over them. And we do pray for our city and for Riverside County, Father God. That, Lord, that you push back against this sickness. You push back against the darkness that's trying to invade our land. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over it and we just push, push. Everybody say push. We pray until something happens in the name of Jesus. That no weapon formed against us would prosper. And, Father, we pray for the Sims family tonight who lost their mother, Father God. Lord, that your peace would come to the Sims family, Father God. That, Lord, it rained down on them, Father. Hey, that, Lord, your Holy Spirit would come. The Comforter would come to them tonight. And for the Pierre family, God, who lost their father. Oh, Holy Spirit, just minister to them. Lord, let your grace come down upon them tonight, Father. Lord, let your hand of mercy just engulf those families, Father God. That the love of God would abound. And even as Delonda prayed... 
Father God, that families would come together in this season, God. Lord, in these tough times, Lord, in the loss of a loved one, families would come together. Now, Lord, there'd be no feuding. There'd be no backbiting. There'd be no fighting for the will or fighting for an inheritance, Father God. Because, Lord, we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. We have an inheritance in you, Father. And we've inherited eternal life, Father God. Hallelujah. And we rejoice in that today. And, Lord, we know, Lord, as people are testifying tonight, that, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in our homes tonight. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in that place tonight. And we glorify you, God. We exalt you, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to comfort us, to be with us, to direct us, to give us strength in this day. And Holy Spirit, the Word declares that you will tell us things to come and that you come as a Spirit of truth to reveal truth. So I pray, Holy Spirit, that in all that's being said, in all that's going on, that Lord, the Holy Spirit would bring the truth to us, and we can stand upon the truth. And the truth is that you're in control, Father. The truth is you got this. The truth is I'm a child of the King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a child of the King. And, Father God, we do repent. We repent of our sins, God. Lord, we repent for our national sins, Father. The national sins, Father God, that have opened the doors to things in this nation, Father God. And I pray against those national sins. I repent for them, Father God, that, Lord, that the church has just taken it and laid down and just allowed it to happen, God. We rise up. We rise up today in the Spirit, God. And we say, no more. We repent of these things. We're turning from these things in the name of Jesus. That, Lord, they will not have a hold on us. And, Father God, that, Lord, the sins of this nation would not grip us any longer. And, Father, that you would uh, release us from them in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the Pope family, Father God, who has lost their mother. Oh, Lord, I remember losing my mom, Lord, and the pain that I felt, God. And I pray for the Pope family today, God. I pray, Lord, that they would find that peace of God today in the name of Jesus. And I pray for my sister Kim, who lost her husband, Richie, God. I pray for Kim, Lord, in the family, her daughters and her sons, God, that the peace of God, which passes all understanding, would come to the Welch family, Father God, and you just rain down on them and pour out your spirit on them. And, Father, we lift up all the people that have been attacked by this COVID-19, Father. I pray for Greg Mundus, our missions director for the Assemblies of God. I pray that you touch him and his family and you heal them today in the name of Jesus. The supernatural move of your spirit come to him. The healing power of God come to him right now. Lord, and for all those victims of COVID-19, Father God, and for those that have lost a loved one already, God, we pray that God... There would be a great turning towards you, God. A great love for you, Father God. Lord, that death won't, we won't feel that sting, God. Because of knowing you. Let people know you. You said in the last days you're pouring out your spirit upon all flesh. All flesh, God. And I pray that today your Holy Spirit's being poured out, Father. That, Lord, that people, oh, oh yeah. That people are crying out to you. That people are receiving you today, Father God. Oh, hallelujah, Father. People are coming under the covering of the Almighty God for supernatural work, Father. I pray, God, for Mike Bartlett, Lord, and all the essential workers, those that are having to get up and go to work every day. I pray a covering over them, Lord, even as we surrounded Corona Regional last night. And there were many... Lord, church is going to the hospitals and praying over the workers there. Father God, we stand in the gap for them tonight. Those that are on the front lines, Lord, those that are uh, responding to calls, Father God, that you cover them and protect them in the name of Jesus. You said, Lord, that there's no greater love for someone to lay down their life for a brother. Lord, these people are putting their life on the line. They have families. They have loved ones, God. And we pray a covering over them today. I think of Raggy being a nurse at one of the hospitals here and his family. Lord, and, and he's worked with people with COVID. Lord, but you're protecting him. Your hand is upon him. I pray that for the first responders today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. Lord, for the sheriff who had COVID-19 here in Riverside County. And Lord, and I saw that procession today going down the freeway of all the, the police officers just honoring him today, Lord, and the firemen on the, on the bridges, God, honoring him today, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you just bless his family today, God. Oh, Lord, that you just touch his family today, Lord. 
that, Lord, they wouldn't blame you, God, but they'd run to you, Father. Lord, I pray that we get out of the mode of blaming you for the issues of God, and we would run to you, God, that we wouldn't blame you for these issues, but we'd run to you, God, with an open heart, God, and that, Lord, your tender mercy would be poured out, Father, so that people could receive your grace today. Lord, that favor, Lord, that blessing, even though we haven't deserved it, God, even though we've said things against you, even though we've blamed you, God, Lord, that your grace would come to these families today. And Lord, that you would touch their heart with the Holy Spirit. And Lord, they'd begin to look up to Jesus, to Jesus, to Jesus. And Father, I pray for that officer's family, God, that they would know you and they would know the peace of God but they would know the love of God like never before. Oh, Father, just touch them today. Touch them today, God. And Lord, I I just pray that, Lord, all our first responders would come to know you in a special way, God, of salvation. They would know you as the Redeemer, that Jesus, you paid the price for all of our sins so that we don't have to pay the price But we can come to you and be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Be redeemed by the blood of Jesus. And we thank you for that today, God. That your redemption has come to us. And Lord, we glorify you and exalt you. And Father, I'm just reminded of Noah tonight. How Lord, you didn't take him out of that storm. But Lord, that you covered him through the storm. You covered him in an ark. And I pray for a spiritual ark around your people today in the name of Jesus. You said around the righteous, you surround them with the shield of favor. And I pray that over the believers today, Father. And I glorify you and I exalt you, God. I thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do, God. I pray, Lord, that this would be a supernatural move of your spirit in every home, God, as they listen to this. That, Lord, that salvation would come to every home. Lord, repentance come to every home. Healing come to every home. Lord, because your redemption has come to us today. You're redeeming mankind by the power of the blood of Jesus. And we glorify you and we exalt you, Lord. I thank you, Father, for the many pastors we have here at Hope Center. Father God, for our Arabic pastor, Emel, for our Spanish pastor, Pastor Otto, our Um, Chinese pastor, Pastor Peter, our Samoan pastor, Pastor John. Father God, I thank you for their lives today. And Lord, that they were willing to come to lift up the name of Jesus, Lord, in their languages. And I pray a special covering and blessing over them today, God, that you cover them and bless them, Father God, as they lead their flocks. And Father God, that your hand be with them, that you give them divine direction for their congregation. Lord, we glorify you. We exalt you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing. And Lord, and what you're going to do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take time to share this. Take time to get it out there. Let other people join in. You don't know whose life this is going to touch tonight. What languages they speak and who it's going to affect. So please share this on down your list. And let it touch people around the world tonight. We glorify God and we love you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.